as you can see in the background the past few weeks I've been doing a bit of work on the horn plates not very exciting work just uh, milling each side square boring these holes out one's for the axle tube bearing and one for the third shaft bearing tube second shaft will go just here crankshaft goes just about here this was milled out I've used M4 bolts just to hold the plates together so that I can mill them and work on them all at the same time just to get a great level of accuracy across the two however this lovely stuff has turned up my 5 mil thick copper sheet for my boiler it's very heavy and I'm very excited to start working on it so I'm gonna put this aside for a little while now while I move on to my boiler so I thought before I start doing anything actual mechanical on the boiler I should talk about my plans for how I'm actually going to do it so here we have HR Plasto's design for his boiler it's rated at 110 psi and it's made from 3 16 copper sheet the state pitching is 1 and 1 8 However, I've been told that a compound locomotive won't really work properly on 110 psi and will instead run quite wet. So I was told to upgrade my boiler, which is what I've done. I drew out new plans, increased the number of stays, decreased the pitch. I've actually won for 5mm thick copper, so it will take the 150 psi working. I've had it signed off by a professional boiler inspector. And yeah, I'm ready to start building now. My plan is to use all silver solder joints and rivet them all so that they're damn strong. I'm now rolling the, well, not rolling the boiler barrel, but pressing it round. Just using the 10 ton hydraulic press, really. It looks a bit crude, but I have high hopes. Huh. And here we have the makings of the tube plate. I've actually got the idea of a aluminium arbor, which I've loctited the tube plate onto and then holding it with the center. Got that idea off a click spring on YouTube. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to give it a go and I'll uh, let you know if it works or not, or whether it just falls off and smashes me in the face. That seems it's actually worked very well. The bond was very good and uh, I've come out with a nice shiny round copper disc. Lovely. Here is the boiler shell after the first round of silver soldering. I did this with a sievert propane torch and also a propane oxy torch. As you can see it's flowed quite nicely. It's gone right through the joint there and right through inside. Not too bothered about the cleanliness of the barrel yet as I've got a weld on the outside of the firebox and the throat plate. It's got to go on there. And I'll uh, try and make a video of me actually doing some silver soldering but I couldn't with this one. Had no way to hold my camera. So yeah, look out for part two of my boiler making ventures.